Hi guys, made this three wheel rubber band powered car because I had a request to do one the other day and I thought I might as well try and make one from a cardboard box while we're at it because some people don't have access to the pop bottles. So here we are, an empty cereal box. First thing I'll do is glue the top back shut. And then when I've done that, we'll cut out suitable slots so we can use exactly the same running gear. The CD wheels and the barbecue skewer axles. We will need uh, a paper drinking straw for the axle tubes. And I was looking at this, and I reckon if I put the paper straws on top of the box here and cut slots for the wheels to go inside, then you can actually have the wheels um, inside, interior. They'll have to stick out at the front and the back, but we'll have a flat surface on top. Actually, we'll probably have that surface on top. Not that it makes any difference. But. So, yeah, slot out there for the front wheel with drinking straws either side for the axle tubes to go in, for the axles to go in, and something similar at the back there. Cut a gap out. Drinking straws for the axle tubes. How long is that? Yeah, height-wise, if the tubes are on the outside here, so say the wheel can actually be inside. In fact, if I ran them closer together, I could have them entirely inside. So it'd just be a box rolling along. Yeah, I might do that. I'll take some measurements, arrange it so the wheels will be entirely enclosed. I've marked it up. I'm not going to give you dimensions because if you use a cardboard box it's probably going to be a different size. The important dimensions is your CD is 12 centimeters diameter. So the holes you're going to cut need to be just over 12 centimeters wide. Now these are actually marked exactly 12 centimeters, but I'm going to curve the ends a little bit to um, give us this, give us the clearance. So one's going there, one's going there, one's going there. Those lines are where we're going to glue the drinking straw tubes. We'll cut it into pieces and glue them in place. Drinking straw is coated with some sort of um, wax or something so it doesn't take glue very well. I've actually rubbed the surface down with a bit of sandpaper. That might help. If it doesn't help we'll either have to use hot glue to hold it in place or tape. But either way if you just try using super glue straight onto the drinking straw it just won't glue it. And the surface of this is quite shiny as well, which may or may not be a problem. So it might pay me to rub them down a little bit as well. Because if I rub it down, I won't be able to see where I've made the marks. So that's also a problem. Something like that. And also we need a hole there so I can put the rubber band through from the top and wrap it round the axle at the back. It's all going to be a little bit tight and messy to try and get it right. Which is why I usually put everything on the outside so you can get to it. 
Right, I'll do some cutting. Well, technically, that's it finished. Hole in the top. Wheels. All in place. So we need rubber band to go down through that hole, which is going to be a bit of a tight fit. I can make it bigger actually. Rubber band down through there. It's going to be a bit awkward to get hold of underneath to wind it up and we put I've got a toothpick there just through like that I'll put a bit of tape over there and technically that's it in fact I'm going to cut that through as well that make life easier So wind it up so it goes over itself. And there we go. What I thought I might do though, just for fun, is what I used to do, just cover it with sticky back paper. Shiny stuff. I think I've got some shiny stuff in there. Various colours. So I'll do something to pretty it up. Test run time with my um, colourful box. giving it a little bit more power. Okay, we'll see if we can hit the camera now. Success. <laughs> uh, summary time. Well, yeah, I've done a bit of a random colour scheme on it just to make it look interesting for the thumbnail. But it is just... A cereal box with three CDs for wheels. I've used plastic bottle caps for the hubs. Uh, check the video description, there'll be a link to a video that shows you how to do that. So that's six bottle caps for three wheels. Used paper drinking straw for the axle tubes 
and barbecue skewers for the axles. I've super glued the drinking straws to the cardboard and I've actually reinforced that with a bit of baking powder mixed in with the super glue just to give it a bit more um, a bit more surface area really. Oh and of course we've got rubber bands which are attached to the top of the box under all that colour. Round the back axle, hold it in place while you wrap it round. Once it's held itself in place, it then stays there. You don't need a peg, but if you really want to, you could glue a little bit of barbecue skewer in a T-shape there. And then you can hook the rubber band onto the T-shape. But I don't do that very often. There. Job done.